Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Today's topic is slow down to go fast. <laughs> welcome to the Shift Happens podcast about navigating the lighter side of life's challenges. I'm Robin McIntyre, certified life and transitions coach. And I'm Monique Eckes, question asker. I'm you asking the questions from the audience. Which is so fun. Yes. It really is fun. Yes. Monique comes up with things that I wouldn't even think about. So you got <laughs> both both sides going here. Yeah. So slowing down to go fast seems like it wouldn't work together. Can you Counterintuitive. Yes. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about that a little bit more. So slowing down to go fast is about getting out of autopilot and getting into choice. So what I mean by that is, you know, our day to day, especially if so many of us, we have just our schedules are packed mm -hmm. or, you know, or our life is just set up in a way that we feel like we just get up in the morning, hit the floor running and just hope for the best. Yeah. Just go, 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 yeah, go, 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 yeah? go, go, go. And okay. I will preface this by talking about moms with kids. Yeah. Um, talking about, I, I have clients right now that are, uh, caretaking for their parents yeah. and there's just seasons mm -hmm. in our life mm -hmm. where this feels a little more out of control than not true and so i want to save space for that because there that that's a there's a reality there too yeah um but still the uh, getting out of autopilot is all about choosing okay so what we're choosing what we're trying to do is get out of the panicked energy mm. into the calm energy so that when we do make decisions they're from the right place. They're just from a, a better energy. Okay. So yeah, that's the best way to put it. Okay. Okay. So like I'm a business person and I've got this ginormous list of things to do. I'm busy, busy, busy. Yes. I have to do all these things, you know, go, go, go. And I forget that I have the choice. Yeah. I put those things on the list. Uh, me too. Right? Me, yeah. But so often they feel like every single one of them is a priority. Yes. You know? So how do we get out of that? Like what is something that we could use. You're the expert at this. Well, it, again, we're, okay, so we're gonna go right to thoughts. Okay. Okay, so one of the biggest keys is when we are in that energy of go, 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 do, 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 panic, 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 we are in have to mode. Mm -hmm. Air quotes, have to, yeah. okay, have to mode. If we can get our thinking just tweaked enough to think I get to go do this, mm. do you feel a calmer, sense immediately yeah. like physically calmer yeah yes and what's interesting is that we have talked about this right yeah, we have. but i have to i feel like i need to remind myself that a lot it doesn't come naturally to think of things that oh, way it's at all no right no and it is it's a it's an again self-awareness yes, it's true. self awareness every episode yes but again just catching your thoughts and yeah and slowing it down and it, it reminds me too monique of qua qua quality over quantity Okay, I yes. get those two mixed up. Quality over quantity is, mm -hmm. you know, if we're doing something better, we're going to, it's just easier than trying to do more of it. Mm -hmm. And it kind of reminds me of the same thing. It's where we can do something in panicked energy and it's going to take twice as long or yeah. it's not going to be, it's not going to feel right when you're done. Like, gotcha. ooh, I could have done that differently. Or your, our decisions are just different mm -hmm. when we're in that energy versus, okay, if I slow down for just a minute, it's like uh, sharpening your ax before you cut the tree. Okay. Right. You're going to cut the tree with a dull ax. It's going to take a lot longer. It's kind yeah. of the same thing. Yeah. So if you sharpen the, the ax, you might think I can't slow down to sharpen the ax. Oh. I got to cut down the tree now oh my gosh oh that's that's a whole different concept okay okay so kind of the same mm. thing what can i do to make whatever i'm going to go do my to-do list mm -hmm. how can i make my to-do list feel more doable in the time i have right well i'm going to come at it with a little bit more preparation mentally that i'm going to be calm okay and it, it's a it's a choice but the get to versus have to yeah. i think that just makes such a big difference on the things that you really can have a choice over. Yes. You know, oh, I get to, I, I'm like, I don't love cooking. <laughs> but sometimes it, I have to say, you know what? I get to cook mm -hmm. for my family tonight. And it's not like, oh, I have to cook again. You know what I mean? It's so true. I get to what cook What if we something. thought it was a privilege? Yeah. And that we have a space to cook it in. We have the food to cook. We have all the mm -hmm. things. Yeah. And then once I start thinking that, I can think, I don't need to make a seven course meal. I can make 
one simple meal and I get to do that. Yeah. So I think this kind of trickles down to a lot of things, it right? Does, yeah. Yeah. That's a great example because okay. cooking can be that way, especially <laughs> when we're busy. <laughs> well, it's like, I mean, I could think of so many examples. Yeah. Oh, social media for my business. Oh, yeah. I have to do this. I'm like, oh, I get to. How yeah. can I make this funner, lighter? Yeah. Yes. You know, like we talk about all the time, kind of like the whole premise of this <laughs> podcast. Now that I'm really thinking through it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's just so, it's so different if we just look at it yeah. through that lens. If we're going to go back to last week's episode where we were talking about the looking through different lenses yes. to see how we see things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a great example So there's here. a few concepts in here, a few examples. Yeah. Like having, making sure you're ready with your acts, making sure you have that energy of I get to. Yeah. Ooh. All the different tweaking up here. It's, uh -huh. you know, this little space between our ears. <laughs> it's everything. It it's really everything. is, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And then we have to remember to remember, you know, remember to slow down, to go right? fast. Because you're saying it's a practice. Yes. All of these things take practice. Yeah. I feel like I want to write this on a whiteboard near my desk or my <laughs> kitchen or something. Like I get to do this yeah. today. Yes. You know, whatever this is, yeah. quote. <laughs> air quotes. It is, yeah. It is. Yeah. It's, it's a simple, you know, sometimes we're looking for something so complicated for an answer. True. I love to know that it's just practicing stuff in our mind and our brain. Yeah. That, that can change everything. Yeah. I mean, it's that's, it's not, it's, it's simple, but it's not easy, right? Exactly. Because we do have to pay attention and we do have to be willing mm -hmm. and we just, it, it takes so much time. And then we work on that and we get those things accomplished and we start thinking, okay, so now I'm, I'm doing good. I'm slowing down to go fast. But then we forgot about gratitude. Oh, you know? <laughs> so all the things that we think yeah. about that are a practice. Yeah. yeah. So when I'm thinking now with this information, slowing down to go fast, if I slow down for a second, get some of that calm energy, mm -hmm. things will fall into place better, faster. Yes. Right? Absolutely. That's kind true. of what we're thinking. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Did you, you said you had some kind of activity for me? Yeah. So Ooh, should gonna, I be nervous? Yeah. No, no, of course not. It's Robin. Okay. So we have an so, activity. Okay. So Monique, I want you to think of an example where you get this panicky energy, like think of something, we're going to go big because that's what we do here. Ah. <laughs> but I mean, okay, it can be about business. It can be any, it can be about anything. But when does that come up for you? A panicky energy? Yeah, the panicky, I gotta go, I don't have enough time, all those thoughts that make you think you just have to go faster, faster, faster. Mm -hmm. Probably at the end of a project. Okay. When a project's about to culminate and there's like a timeline, a deadline. Okay. Sometimes for me it's deadlines, you know, so. That's probably when it comes up the most. Okay. So do let's... Do you want a more specific example? Um, nope. That's, okay. Um, do you have one? Um, sometimes... The specificity is always good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have one coming up. So yes. I have a deadline coming up where I'm moving my, my space into a different space. Suddenly. I didn't expect to do that. And I'm trying to, like slow down with that so I don't have that panicky that's moment. Yeah. So that's an example. Um, that's good. So let's you go want with that. Let's yeah, go yeah. with that? Yes, okay. because we've only talked about par part of this on our little one-on-ones, right? Yes. So you have your new studio space. Yeah. It's four times this size, right? Three or four times this size? Eight times? Eight times. <laughs> I was not paying attention. No, that's okay. Lots bigger. Yeah. Okay, so that alone could bring on panic, right? Just that's oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. So you're okay. you're making a huge leap. Okay, okay? yeah. Okay, this is transitions, folks. <laughs> you're making a big leap and it would be very, very natural, right? For you to just all of a sudden just poof overwhelm. What am I going to do? Um, I, I have a deadline to get out of this studio, which I know Hard came deadline. out, came quickly. They, they have other plans for this space. You got to go. Yeah. Um, so you, you're all, okay. So you're going to, you're going to move. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So Monique, you're going to go back to when you, when you realized you had the space, you, you the got the space. space. Yeah. Okay. New space. You're excited. All that. Okay. When the excitement was set aside, when this panicky stuff started coming over, give me a single thought that was playing in your head when the excitement wasn't there and the panic was starting to come in. What, would, what was the thought that you were having? There's so much to do to move out of the space and get the new space ready. All the things that I'd have to do and the expenses in that and the timelines. 
Right? Yeah. And, and it just felt Dig. like a lot Dig. in a short amount of time. Yeah. That I wasn't prepared for. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah. good. This is a great example. So when you thought that there's so much to do, I don't know if I have enough time, there's so much space, all the thoughts that were coming in, give me a single feeling, just one word, like what was the feeling that you felt in your, in your body, if you can, if you can go into the body, mm -hmm. sometimes we can, sometimes we can't, but mm -hmm. what was the, what, how would you describe your feeling when you were thinking that? Hmm. I don't know if it was full on panic. Okay. I, I wouldn't say panic. Um, well, maybe. I didn't get that from you. No, I'm not, not supposed not to know truly that. Truly panic, because we've already we've yeah. had a session on this. Um, it was. Am I enough? Was part of it. I know we're not going there on this podcast, probably, but you know, can I can I do this? Okay. It's kind of doubt, I suppose. Okay. Feeling doubtful. Yeah. Okay. So when you feel doubtful, when you felt that, tell me what kind of things, what do you do? What actions do you take or not take when you're feeling doubtful about your new venture? Well, actually, I did what we're talking about on here because I thought this is so much and I kind of wanted to do all, all at once because I am very excited, but I knew that was very unrealistic. Mm -hmm. That would be just really panic energy, trying to get it all done in a week or something. Mm -hmm. So we have a giant whiteboard and I backtracked six weeks and I said, each of these things has to be happening by this week. And it was, and we paused, right? We took a beat to sit down and write this all on the board. Okay. And this is what we're going to do every single week. And it was way more attainable. That go, go, go an endless list was broken up into weeks. So you basically slowed down to go fast already. <laughs> I did so messing up this example in the best way ever. <laughs> I did actually. That's so right. good. That's so good. Okay, we don't okay. even have to go where we were going. Okay. Okay, because you're because you already you already get this. Okay. And I'm. <laughs> I just so can't excited. put these words to it. No, it's so good because you you were feeling doubtful, mm -hmm. but because you've already experienced how you can, this is so good. You just, okay. Is, she doesn't even know how good she is oh. half the time, <laughs> but you already slowed yourself down. So you didn't have to go where I was going to go with this. Just so you know, yeah. is if, if we feel doubtful and we're having just the confidence stuff, we're just hit with, can I do this? Am uh -huh. I enough? Right. If yeah. those feelings of overwhelm, come on. What, what the next step is, is okay. What, how, what, how do we behave? What, what are our actions or inactions when mm -hmm. we're in that, in that, feeling. Mm -hmm. And usually it's, I freeze up. Yeah. I procrastinate. I don't do the things. Mm -hmm. And so, so you could have gone there, which actually I did start a little bit because okay. there were so many things I wanted to do them all at once. It's like that tire in the mud. Yeah. Just it's trying, 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 not getting anywhere. So you understand the, how the fast going too fast wasn't working. Yeah. But you, this is still really yeah. cool. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is really fun. So I hope you're getting this uh, out there because this is, this is important. So, but what, what would happen is if the doubts and the negative feelings, if you will, mm -hmm. I mean, we want to welcome all feelings, but yeah. if, if we did, if you did not recognize that was going on, you could have completely spun out yeah. and just froze up and freaked out and done all the things that we yeah. usually do when we're in panic. Okay. And then the result is. You know, it's, it's back to, oh, maybe I'm not enough mm -hmm. maybe because you haven't done anything to, you know, so you've, you've found evidence to yeah. back up what you were thinking. And it could bring me right back to panic Yeah. because if I spend a week being in that, spinning your wheels. and then I'm like, oh no, now I have even less time. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is a great example. Yeah. So it didn't go as planned, but okay. like I said, we didn't rehearse that part. So yeah. I'm kind of glad it turned out this way because okay. you you slowed it down without calling it that. Mm -hmm. You slowed it down without really putting the logic to it. Okay. All you knew is what you were feeling wasn't being productive. Yeah. It wasn't helping you. Mm -hmm. So you were okay. in the speedy energy of, oh my gosh, I got to do this. I, I'm on a deadline. So the thoughts were coming in mm -hmm. and you were good at catching them. Okay. Yeah. All the work I've done with Rob. Well... <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's fun to watch. It, this is very fun to see how you did that. I mean, we talked about the um, getting into the bigger dream and the, yes. you know, all the, the yeah. emotion and all the, the thought process that goes with that as well. So you've already been thinking bigger and becoming 
who it takes to, to get that result. Yeah. But, um, but this is really fun because okay. you just pretty much played it through in the way that we'd want you to get it anyway out there. Okay. All right, great. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Well, and now I have these words to go with it, though. So when yeah. I'm faced with this again, what if I don't uh, just somehow instinctively do this? I can go, oh, that's slow down to go fast. Yep. So I appreciate that. Because oh, one and of the reasons I'm in coaching with you is to put the words to some of these things yeah. that either come to me or don't come to me. So that's great. Yeah, and you recognize, you recognize in the moment really well. Mm. I'm so excited. I'm working for on you. it. This I'm is, working on I'm it. I'm really excited. That's, that's, I'm excited for you. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do too is tell you more about this after the sponsor break. Because okay. we're going to give you some concrete ways and action steps and your one liner. But first, we want to talk about the sponsor break because Robin's got this really great thing for you. So I have talked about this freebie before mm -hmm. on other episodes, and I've called it Grind versus Flow. And it's something that I created when I had my first coach and I was learning about the different, the calmer energy. Gotcha. And I just, since I'm such a visual person and I love to play in Canva, I went in and I just started putting words to each of these energies. So when I'm panicked, it's this. And when I'm calm, it's this. Mm. And then um, I just, I, so one is the have to energy and one is the get to energy. Yeah. So everything we're talking about, it's just a side by side that you can see in this PDF. Uh, and then basically it's something that you can choose to practice again, okay. to watch for. So the words, um, for one, like, so the, the grind versus flow, mm. the grind is the push, the hustle, the have to, you can just feel that, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. it's, it's, nobody likes to be told what to do. And yes, we need to be able to tell ourselves what to do, but how about if we pull with get yeah. to instead of have to. And this is just, it's just, if you're a visual, you'll want to see this, if this is, if, if this resonates with you today. Which is great. Cause I was just thinking like, oh, I'd love to write that on my wall. I could just download this and print it. Yeah. And put it on my yeah. wall. Okay. Problem solved. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> You've it's done just it for a, me. It's a great, okay. it's just a great awareness. Okay. That's what I would call this is just becoming aware of your choices. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is really, really helpful, especially when you're first kind of diving into this kind of work. Yeah. Um, you and I have been working together for a few months now, but there's so much I don't know and don't remember. Having these kind of resources is awesome. Thank yeah. you. Well, I'm, I just appreciate you. are so coachable. <laughs> <laughs> great things happen when people are coachable and you were ready, right? You yeah, were ready. I was so, ready. Yeah. Super great. So yeah, this will help you. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the sponsor break. Flow. Yay. So then with your one liner, Robin's famous one liners, how would you <laughs> sum up this before we get into some action items? The one liner really, when you catch yourself in this, if you could say to yourself, there is enough time, just breathe. I do that a lot. Yeah. I'll, I'll, here's a, here's what'll happen is if I whack, whack my hip into the wall as I'm walking by and I'm just moving too fast. Uh-huh. Physically. You're, yeah. Physically. Mm -hmm. Or you drop something and you're dropping another something. It's like, mm -hmm. Ooh, wait, take a breath. But I, the words, you know, you have enough time or there is enough time. If you mm -hmm. get really good at saying that to yourself and you can calm yourself, it, it will create the time. Mm -hmm. It creates the time. And breathe. That's my word of the year is breathe. I, yes. Yeah. Right. So I'm, I'm very much trying to do that this so year. So when does, give us some examples of how that's helped you. Well, so it's kind of the same thing you just said. I'll find myself getting irritable or like you're saying, dropping something, spilling things and just going, oh, slow down. Yeah. Almost a fun, silly. Yeah. Yeah. And I talk fast naturally. <laughs> so it's t kind of a little bit of that slowing down that too. Um, just a better energy. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Here's your proof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Monique is your proof today. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, that kind of just naturally leads into the action steps. Yeah. Uh, you've already touched on a little bit. Let's, let's give, um, we're going to give you some things to do when you're remembering it's okay. There's enough time. Breathe. Yeah. And what can go along with that for yeah. our action steps? So this is a practice. You're going to try to catch it early. So again, self-awareness. And here's another analogy I like to give is if your head was a container. Okay. Okay. If you just saw your head, it's a container sitting on top of your shoulders and the thoughts just go through it. Okay. Right. Our thoughts and all the things we think, we don't have control of what's coming in. Okay. But if we can stop it when we notice it's affecting us, ah. then that's when we catch it. 
So just think about, you know, we don't beat ourselves up for the thought, no matter what the thoughts are, or I should be better at this, or mm. I've been doing this for so long, you know, coaching, therapy, whatever. You're like, oh my gosh, I should, don't, I should be good at this Aww. right now. Right. It's a practice. It's a practice. It's a self-awareness practice. So okay. catch it quickly, you know, catch it as quick as you can. Find some humor if you can. Oh, yeah. there it goes. That's yeah. what I, oh, I'm doing it again. <laughs> you know, and then just the regroup. You, you have a chance, a choice in that moment. We're not just catching the thought to catch it, but we're catching the thought to say, oh, wait, breathe. So yeah. catch the thought and then ground yourself. So a good way to ground yourself is to use the mantra. There's enough time. Breathe. And then really take the breath. Not like, <gasps> okay, really I'm do. done. <laughs> Don't hyperventilate. <laughs> right? So, yeah. I mean, just it's, yeah. it's like... Just yeah. just in the moment, it takes no time at all. It's a practice and it can change so many things. Mm -hmm. And I think it really helps that we put that concept into physical action. Yes. It, and again, some things seem so big, but just taking a breath. Yep. It, it's shocking how good just giving yourself that mantra and t actually taking that breath, which takes a, f a couple of seconds. Yeah. But it makes a huge difference in your energy and and all of this that we've talked about today. It does. Yeah. And you know what else it does? It connects you in. It connects you back to yourself. The grounding yeah. part. It, right. it really does. It's like puts you back in your body. Right. And it's you're you're just giving your body a chance to, you know, you're you're yeah. giving it a gift in that breath. Yeah. Yeah. So because often all these to-dos are just out here yes. and they're coming at us, right? Yep. I love it. Yeah. It's oh. another way to say it's okay. We're okay. I'm okay right now. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. You know, it's just that breath will do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I love it. Slow down to go fast. All right. Okay. So thanks for listening and watching yes. the podcast today. And remember, shift happens. Shift happens. It does. It's all the time. <laughs> <laughs> just catch it. Just catch it. <laughs> uh, remember, Robin's here to help. And if you want to know more, the freebie is also on the website. Really, the website's the place to go. Website's best place to go. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And spell that out for yep. us, please. And it's, uh, my name is it's robinmcintyre.com, spelled with all I's, R-O-B-I-N-M-C-I-N-T-I-R-E. I'm still looking for somebody that'll make a little jingle for me. <laughs> I love that idea so much. Let us know. Okay. And also ways to contact her in just the show notes of your podcast yeah, as well. Check the show notes. And the, and the YouTube notes. So we got it all for you. Thank all you. Right. Subscribe if you get value. We'd love to see this, yeah. uh, this audience grow yeah. and give suggestions, anything we can do to bring some lightness to life's challenges for you. Hey, I love it. All right. Good job. Good job. Woohoo. Ciao. <laughs>